Hey everyone, what is up and welcome back to the channel. I'm Heather. And I'm Casey. And today we are going to talk about 10 things we love about Germany and wish the U.S. would adopt. Yes. And before we get started, we do have a just very brief announcement. For those of you that have been watching our theme park content as well, we have decided to start a new channel dedicated to that just because we figured it would be more clear for everybody. And those of you that love theme parks can follow us over there. And if that's not your thing, now this will be just about life in Germany and traveling traveling abroad. So we'll leave that link overhead and down below for those of you that love theme parks. Now we're going to dive right into this. This is in no particular order, but the first thing on our list is food regulations. How do you feel about that? I think the food here has been amazing. It's been so much better. Yeah, just the things, like things taste differently. And they it, do. And it's in a good way. Yeah. And I feel like you can get a lot better food at places you wouldn't expect. Like we've had a lot of oh, yeah. stops at like gas stations and stuff on <laughs> yeah. our trips and just had like the greatest lunch. It's it's weird. Yeah, I mean in the States, not only is the food not as good, but it's full of chemicals. And if you look on the back of a package here at the grocery store, it's just, the list is so much shorter of ingredients. Yeah, the list of ingredients, yeah. It, it's actually very disturbing, like, <laughs> to think about what we're eating back in the States. It's been something that's actually always bugged us, but now it's like having the difference, I think, even more so. And we learned recently, too, that, like, the FDA back home will not remove ingredients until they find out they're harmful. Whereas here, they... they have to be proven to be healthy first. Right, or at least safe. Like, yeah. you know, so, um, yeah, can we please get on that back in the States? Because that just seems like a basic human right to me. <laughs> like, to be able to have clean food. So... That's a big one. All right, number two on our list is the festival culture here. It seems like every uh, every weekend there's a festival something somewhere to do. or some type of market uh, yeah. just downtown or something to go see and hang out at. And they are all done to such a high level, at least the ones we have been to so far. It's like they're decorated so beautifully and there's so many options and uh, just you can tell everyone's having such a good time. The energy is great. Yeah. Even uh, we went recently to Holiday Park, which I'll leave linked overhead and down below, which was on this channel. But uh, they had a little event there that was called Summer Night. So, I mean, I don't know if you'd consider that a festival or not, but it was just something unexpected. And it was so good. We had such a good time. Yeah, that it was event. awesome. Yeah, so we love that. And just, again, all the fresh things, all the gathering with friends and just the culture of getting together and really enjoying that time together is really, really good. All right, number three are public restrooms. Now, we are more, I would say, inclined to want the fee factored into business expenses <laughs> so that, like, you know, it just charge a little bit more for what's there versus having to take change out. And I know some people might feel differently, so don't comment me for saying that. But on the whole... The bathrooms generally are so much nicer and cleaner and the stalls go all the way to the floor. Yeah, it's like you go in like your own little room almost. Yeah. But uh, it is, I will, I'll give it like a ding, I guess, having to like pay to go in. It's, it's kind of weird. I don't know, we're just not used to it yet. Yeah, but I would still rather have a clean bathroom is the thing. And it's so weird in the States and I think it's probably going to be kind of a reverse culture shock moment when we do go back. And it's like there's cracks in the walls and the, the uh, doors and stuff and the side panels don't go to the floor. They like come way up where a kid could just crawl under into your bathroom stall. And I feel like now that we're not used to that, it's going to be even worse. <laughs> so when we go back experiencing that. Um, and another thing is how like in a lot of the public restrooms, there's like the self-cleaning toilet seat. Yeah, I haven't seen that yet, but I guess no. you had one you haven't seen that? No. Oh, okay. Well, I've seen that a lot. It, maybe it's a women's restroom. I guess it would be more of a women's restroom thing. That makes sense. But it's like got a little piece on the back that sanitizes the seat and the seat rotates around and gets sanitized before the next person uses it. And that is awesome. Like that should be on every toilet. <laughs> I love that. So um, on the whole, like I said, we prefer the cleanliness. I've had a couple that, you know, weren't the best, but overall they're way cleaner. 
Yeah. Here in Germany. All right. Number four is the traffic light system here. Mm-hmm. It's, 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 I think it's a very small thing, but... We love it. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> I don't know, it's just cool. So, in the States, when you have a red light and then you get a green light, it just turns green and you just have to go. But here, it goes from red back to yellow to give you like a heads up that you're about to be able to go and mm-hmm. then green. Yeah. And I think, I don't know, it must be maybe because a lot of people drive manual here maybe. And yeah. it gives you that extra, you know, two seconds to put your car into gear before having to go. Or if your car, um, a lot of them shut off now at the lights. Yeah. So it just gives you that extra second for it to turn back on before you're having to go. So it's just... I don't know. It's just one of those small things that you just kind of appreciate. It's it's so nice. Yeah, it is a little thing, but we've come to really love that. All right. And the fifth thing on our list is employee wages, specifically when it comes to restaurants, but just like in general, the concept of paying somebody either a livable wage or at least like a decent wage is so nice because at the restaurants back in the States, they can pay the employee or the server like $2 an hour. Yeah, they're just expecting them to get tips. (laughs) Right, which is not only unreliable for the server who's doing a job, doing a service for the business regardless, but also it's kind of, I don't like it even as the consumer because you know that. So you know that in order for them to go home and be able to pay bills, it's on you. (laughs) Right. So I just, I don't think that's a good philosophy myself. Yeah, no. Yeah, so we really appreciate that. We appreciate that there's a culture kind of of taking care of people, of just doing right by people, that general mentality. Um, But you really see it, I feel like, in that type of environment. And it's just something we value so much. And I spent young years serving and stuff too. And man, was not a fan of that. Yeah, for sure. (laughs) At all. It's a... Crazy concept, right? To get paid for the work you do, guaranteed. Yeah, Yeah, I mean, what a concept. But we really appreciate that here. All right, number six, public transportation. I really never experienced it even in the States because... We weren't in a city. We weren't in a big city, and we pretty much had to drive ourselves wherever we needed to go. The States are a very big drive. It's a driving culture for sure. Yeah, you you pretty much have to have a car yeah. unless you live in the city. But mm-hmm. here, there's all these buses and trains and stuff that come from outside the city to bring you pretty much wherever you need to go. That's a yeah. huge system. And it's very efficient. Like, you can tell. I mean, I'm sure I know with certain strikes and things over here sometimes, there's been a little bit, you know, there's been some hiccups, I think, for people here. But on the whole, though, just having that as an option that's so quick, efficient, and readily available is the thing. Of course, the states have some public transportation in certain areas, but even the places that have it, it's not nearly as inundated into the culture and the landscape of the city as it is here. Like, you can really get to a train station or a bus station anywhere here. Yeah. And that's really, it's not done that well to that degree back in the states i wouldn't say yeah no for sure and they're really good about efficiency too so they they pay attention to you know like all the carbon uh emissions and stuff like that too there's a yeah, lot, a of, lot electric of electric vehicles. buses yeah I, that was a big surprise to me i've never really seen that yeah i know that's i mean i guess i've seen it once or twice like at very specific places but again generally that's not really a thing back home so yeah. it's really nice all right and that brings us right into number seven about being eco-friendly uh yeah. A lot of electric vehicles like we just talked about, um, not even in the public transportation sector, just people in general have a lot of electric vehicles. Mm-hmm. Um, and in our house, even, we have a lot of motion sensor lights, so you can't really just leave lights on all the time. Yes. Which is cool. And also another big thing is like the recycling here is very specific. They pay really close attention to make sure that they can like take biodegradable things to break down. And you'll even see that a lot of times in grocery stores where like bags that something comes in are biodegradable. Yeah. Um, just a lot more consciousness about eco-friendly things here in Germany, which I've come to like a lot. And, and like the windows in the houses, uh, there's not, you know, central AC, but uh, they have really great airflow and they hold the heat really well. Like we were actually kind of nervous about that, I think when we came here. But for the most part, it's been really nice. It's been really nice, like, and having the natural airflow is kind of nice. 
So yeah, it's weird how you kind of have apprehensions about certain things and then you experience them and sometimes you end up really liking them. Yeah. And that all kind of ties back to this one, which is number eight, which is fond. Um, if you are in America and you've never heard of that before, fond is something here where if you go and purchase a drink, could be like a soda bottle, could be a water bottle, could be even like a cup of coffee that's plastic. A lot of places will actually charge you a little bit more up front, but then when you return it, you get some of that money back. And it's just a way to encourage that recycling habit and kind of, again, giving back to the environment. So that's pretty, pretty cool. And even at like the grocery store. Yeah, you just bring all your bottles or whatever you accumulate, you know, you know, over the week or so. You bring it to the grocery store, then you get a little ticket with money on it that goes towards your groceries. Yeah, there's like a machine. You put the bottles in, and depending on what type of bottle, how big the bottle is, the fund amount will be different. But it runs it through and scans it, and it knows how much to give you back. And then at the end, when you're done with however many you brought in, it gives you a ticket for all of that fund combined. Yeah. It's just an incentive to recycle, yeah. whereas in the States, you usually have to pay monthly to get a recycling bin Make that at make your sense. house. Yeah, so this is a much better system. Not many people do that, because who wants to pay <laughs> right, I know. to do that, whereas here you get paid. Yes. So it's, it's really nice. And I think, I think my family always did like pay to have recycling, but it's definitely much nicer the way that it is organized here. Definitely. All right, number nine on our list is the building quality here. Yes. Just the overall oh my structures. Uh, everything's a lot more sturdy. Yes. And I think seeing all these old buildings that have been here for hundreds of years just kind of, you know. Kept up. Yeah. For the most part. Again, I mean, I'm sure there's, you know, places that aren't, but for the most part, they are kept up. Yeah. And uh, even just like the houses and stuff, the... Uh, again, you've got the efficiency, and German engineering is just on a whole other level. I mean, the walls are like cement, cement walls. Yeah. And back in the states, it's, it's usually just drywall and plywood. Like with yeah, with plywood, and there's like a gap with some insulation. It's and... terrible. <laughs> it's I will terrible. say it makes hanging stuff in our house a lot harder. Because yeah, maybe it's... you all have some tips for us. Maybe there's like a way to do it. We don't know. Yeah, we've just been using contact strips to really hang like all our pictures and stuff. Yeah, so we're probably not doing that right. There's probably like a trick to it here. So if anyone knows, let us know down in the comments. But oh my gosh, it makes me feel like we were living in a match stick box just ready to burn up <laughs> back yeah. home. I think the doors we have too are like fire doors. Um, yeah. I've noticed that it kind of cuts down our Wi-Fi signal in the house because everything's so thick. <laughs> it's so thick, They usually yeah. got to leave the door open to, like, get Wi-Fi in our downstairs. I fully feel like, though, if a real tornado just, like, came through, oh, we'd the be, house we'd wouldn't solid. budge. Yeah, we'd be good. <laughs> it's so nice. Like, I would 1,000% want a German home over an American home any day. I would take it any day, even without the central air. Like, I would much rather have this build than have central air because it really hasn't been bad because of how efficient the homes are. So, yeah. All right. And that brings us to number 10, which is taxes factored into the prices. Yeah. Super nice. Super nice and super simple. I can't figure out why we don't do that in yeah. the States. It makes it so much easier when you go into the store and you have like a budget in mind for yes. like groceries or something. Yes. You can just add it up as you go and you're not having to guess like, Will there be 20 extra dollars in taxes? Mm -hmm. What like, a wild just, concept. Yeah, it's just factored in, so you know. <laughs> I know. These are just the kind of things that seem like common sense to me. A lot of these things yeah. feel like common sense that I just wonder where in history we <laughs> fell apart and didn't put taxes into the price. I don't know. It's I don't know. like hidden fees. Yeah, <laughs> it's super crazy. It's super nice. To have it factored in, it's like in your grocery, it's in everything. I mean, it's just factored in and we have come to love that yeah, so much. For sure. And then we do have one little bonus one. It's not a big topic of conversations, probably something more specific to us and where we came from in the States because we were in hot, hot, hot Alabama last. That's the last place we lived. And uh, the weather, 
so much better. Yeah. There's like zero humidity here. Oh my gosh. And it's so nice. <laughs> you don't walk outside and start sweating right away. Yeah, it's really weird. In southern Alabama, it's like you step outside and you're literally, you can feel water on yeah. your body. It feels sticky. It feels wet. It's just disgusting. Um, now granted, it's nice for gardening because we have a very long gardening season. So I like that about it. But overall... I would take the cooler weather any day and having more seasons, which I feel like we haven't been here a year yet, but it feels like you get more actual seasons and not like two weeks of fall and then yeah. you're in winter, you know? And then, I will say like during the summer though, it is weird how sunny it is. Yeah. It doesn't get dark like 11 o'clock some nights. That's kind of nice too though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not mad. It just really throws me off. I'll, I'll be <laughs> yeah. like okay, do I need to start cooking dinner or right. something? And then I look at the clock and it's like, it's 10 o'clock at night. It's like, yeah, we've had an where adjustment. Did the day go? Yeah, it's been an adjustment for those sorts of things because we kind of lose track of yeah. the time. Right now it's kind of a normal. Yeah, it's pretty normal right now getting into the fall. Yeah, getting into the fall. But that's definitely been a weird one. Although here, I don't know if it's all the houses. I think a lot of houses, but ours have like the blackout blinds on the outside of the window that come down almost like, I don't it's know. It's like a hurricane shutter almost. Yeah, <laughs> and it so even though it's bright a lot, it blacks everything out. So it's nice because then you do have that option either yeah. to keep heat out and or to keep light out if it's light yeah. longer days. But we really like the weather here, and it's been really nice this last week too. It's been that perfect like 68, which would be maybe 19-ish here. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Um, with a light breeze and a like not quite full sun, but... A little sun. Oh, those are like the perfect days. Yeah. So that is our entire list of things that we would love to take to the States. I'm sure there will be many more that we think of the longer we live here. Let us know uh, what you think down in the comments. If there's anything you'd like to either hear us talk about on the channel or if you'd like us to do another one of these in the future. And don't forget to subscribe. If you're new here, we do a lot of content about living in Germany, life abroad, and traveling here on this channel. And again, we have our theme park channel that I will leave linked down in the description box as well. So have a great rest of your week. We will chat with you down below. See you in the next one. See ya. Bye.